Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, wait a minute, let me get my camera. There we are. Hello. How are you? Oh. My camera. My camera, it's changed. You only half the on the air sign is up. Wait a minute, let me look here. Hold on just a second while I fix this. We gotta get this fixed. We can't have it like this. This is not good. This is not a good thing. Configure video, and then I go up here, and then I go, oh, I see, pan. Okay, there we go. All right, see, folks? Ah, that's how we do it. Somehow, things got changed as we were doing this. Uh, and over there, uh, and I had to, um, I had to do this uh, uh, without her being there, so she's a little bit down in the frame. A little bit down in the frame. Is that better? Huh? Uh, uh, no. Uh. You sit up straight. Hold on a second. I'll, no, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll get it. Hold on a second. I'm just going to do, uh, let me see here. What do I have to do? I have to do that just a little bit. No, that's, I go down. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. That's perfect. Hi. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello. That looks great. That Happy looks Friday. great. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. There. It, put the mic towards you. Happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday, everybody. It's Friday. It's Friday. I took yeah. the day off. You took the day off. You, what else is new? You never work anymore. I do work. I, yes, I work do. very hard. Huh? You work hard? Do you? She does, actually. I do. She does work hard. Long hours. And, and, and you know, all of that it was also part of that was having to uh, get her knee fixed. And doing all the, you're doing like uh, all the, uh, physical all the therapy. Physical therapy that I have to do. You, you, I sent you to my guy, because I, the guy who did my... Uh, but I my, sent you to that place. So did there. you send me to that yeah, place? Yeah, it's where I went for my neck. Oh, I yeah, okay, because you said it's right around the corner yeah. from where you work, and I, so I figured that's convenient. Yeah. So that when I'm through, you can then go home with me, right? Right. And you never went home with me, because you're always having dinner with somebody else. Late lunch. Late Late lunch, dinner, okay, let me put it this way. It's a late lunch, right? So you go, you have your late lunch, and then it's dinner time for me. Right. And I'm cooking dinner, but you say nothing for me. I had I a just, late I lunch. I just ate. <laughs> so you actually had dinner. Well, it depends on how you look at it. That's how That's I look, how at, look it. at it. You know, you've got a lot of friends you go out and have dinner with. Well, you know, I don't have any friends at all. Well, whose fault is that? I. It's no... It's my fault. Yeah. yeah. It's my fault. Everything's Look at my, my knee. Fault. What? Look at my knee. What, what, what do you mean? I can't, I can't, but they can't see yeah, it. but you can see it. I can see it, but they can't see yeah, it. but you can see it. Yeah. Um, it's a very nice knee. It's healing. Yes. It's a, a broken wing. Huh. Yeah. I mean, that really, you know, I, I really, every now and then I would like to find the person that knocked you over. The four tours your, that we're your, looking your, up. Your, your, your screen is all skew there. Look. What look, am I? over there. Your screen. Look, what about it? It's kind of cattywampus. There we go. It was driving me crazy. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. So you had. The tourists. Yeah, the tourists. Uh, who knocked you down, I, I sometimes go, I wish I could find them and wring their neck. Well, they did help me up, and they would have walked me back to my office, but Hans was walking Oh, there. no, they were very nice about it. They were very it, nice. But I mean, it, we didn't know it was but, broken. But after it was all over, they went away, and they have no knowledge of what happened exactly. to you. Exactly. Well, first of all, when they were helping me up, mm -hmm. something, I couldn't put any pressure on this leg, and that's when I knew something happened to, to, to the leg, because I... It was so painful. I know, but here's the thing. They didn't know. They didn't know, no. and they, they're probably, I don't know, back in... Wisconsin. I thought you said they were foreigners. 
Well, foreigners to New York, I don't know. Yeah, well, they, anyway, they were anyway, tourists. They were tourists. And they're probably back in Wisconsin, and they don't know the full story of what happened to you and that you are still suffering with this thing. And it's going to be a year. He said nine months till I'm 100%. Now it's a year. Well, who said it's the a year? The doctor. A year? <laughs> yeah. Of, of what? So I'm a 100%. Oh, boy. <laughs> and that's a year out of my life. Yeah. And at this point in my life, I can't afford to lose any years. Yeah, and at your age, you don't heal as well. No one heals that well at this I mean, age. If, you were, yeah. if you were 20 and this happened to you, you probably, you know. It would heal faster. Let's you might not have broken it. Well, you know? I have osteoporosis, so I'm sure any bang, I mean, look at all the breaks I've had, you know. Yeah, well, you're not, your bones are, br are brittle. Mine, look at the fall I took. It was it, a minor no, fall. No. Alex, it was a little... I need trip. Oh, yeah. Like, my mind was tiny and small, but yours was big and did. The only difference was you had damage and I didn't. But I took a real plot. But you're still complaining about it. No, I'm not. Listen to you. Look at this. How many weeks is it later and I still have... Look at that. Listen to him, ladies and gentlemen. See, I rest my case. Well, no, but I mean, I'd like a little pity for my fall. You've had the pity. I didn't have any pity. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. It's you said, even in your in your clip. Are you okay? I said all that. I came right over to you, and I thanked the guy to oh, help well, you. Well, I up. mean, obviously, if you fell or I fell, uh, your first reaction is going to be, are you okay? You know, so. My boss said it's in the DNA of men that right away when something happens, they're there. They're there for the very few, you know, the first few days that it's needed, they're there. And then all of a sudden it stops. And I said, why? He said, it's just in our DNA. What, said, did I, what did I do today? I don't know. See, you forget. Why should I even do it? You went, to, you went downtown. No, no. What else did I do you before, back, before you left? You bought back. Before you left. I have no idea. I hugged you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I okay. hugged you back. So it's not over with. And I hugged you back. And I, I said, you look adorable, and I always feel so sorry for you with your leg and stuff, and I hugged you, and I, I, I held on to you for quite a while. Yeah, that was good. That's because I took the nice pill last yeah, night. Yeah, I made split pea with sausage. Yeah, but I can't have the split pea. Well, that's your problem. It's against my, it's against my religion. It's your problem, not In mine. In my religion, we don't have pea soup. It's not, uh, it's not uh, it's kosher. It's, it's not... Healthy. Uh, what do they call Hilal? <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's not Hilal because it's got ham in it. It's made with ham hocks and it's got yeah, sausage. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm kosher and I can't have your pea soup. Well, then you sit and eat nothing. What am I going to do? I'm, I'll, I'll, send, I'll go out to White Castle and get some burgers and bring okay, them back. They're coming at one, so we'll yeah. be eating probably by two. Okay, so I'll, I, that'll give me time to run down to White Castle and I'll get a big box of the burgers. The first time I got high on grass, the first, first time I was... We did this whole thing with White Castles, the tiny little ones that are yep. like quarter size. <laughs> yeah, were, you have to and do And they that. were so good. <laughs> Don't you hate it when something goes under something and you can't grab it? Anyway, uh, yeah, no, White Castles, um, I, I never, to call them a hamburger, I think, is belittling hamburgers. There's a, there was the forerunner of sliders. Really? Yeah. Do you know I'm still hurting from the Novocaine? Here we go. Here, still Here hurting from we the Novocaine. go. Anyway, no, but they, those were, no, those were, those were, they were called sliders. They weren't people, called No, people called them sliders. It was a nickname for the, for the White Castle hamburger. Right, but they, so other people, when they did it, since they weren't White Castle, but it wasn't, called them sliders. But it wasn't until years later that sliders became very popular. Well, because it wasn't until years later that people took uh, White Castle seriously. They still don't take it seriously. It, only it, when you smoke pot. It, the only time <laughs> I ever had, like you, the only time I ever had White Castle was when I was stoned out of my fucking yeah. mind, and it seemed like it was a good idea. Yeah, and not only that, you know, the first time I got stoned, I was expecting it to be like a liquor high, and it wasn't. I'm saying, you know, this is nothing. It's not working. <laughs> You're high. <laughs> well, no, that, that's the thing about marijuana. Is that the first time you do it, you don't know you don't your know, You have nothing to compare it to. You have nothing to. to compare it to. My mother, uh, when she came to New York, I said, well, you know, I, I do marijuana, Mom. She goes, oh, it's terrible. You know, I said, would you like to try it? So we had her try it. But somehow, for years she said she smoked. 
but how she smoked. I did the same thing with my mother. My mother smoked no. cigarettes. She never inhaled. Did my mother too. Okay, so when I gave her the pot. My mother didn't know how to inhale it. Yeah. Yeah. So she said, nothing's happening. Yeah, I said, mother. well, you see, I'm getting high and nothing happening. So don't get mad at me. <laughs> yeah, my mother, I'll tell you a great story about my mother. My mother came to visit. And I, she stayed at my apartment. Now, there's nothing worse. Where were you living at the time? I was living on 14th Street. Oh, New York. And uh, uh, my mother came to stay. And she decided to come for three weeks. Oh, my God. I would have put now, her up in a hotel. Now, now, I had her sleep in the, in the, in the living room on the couch because that's all I had. And she you didn't wasn't. Give her the bed? No, because you know, somebody once told me you never give up your bed to your mother? To your mother, anybody. You know, because that's that's where you sleep, you know. But, I mean, it was a comfortable couch, and, and, and she was not complaining about it or whatever. And um, it's kind of, it kind of puts a crimp in your dating life. Well, no shit. So what I decided was, fuck mom, I'm going to go on with my life as usual. And the bedroom was all the way down the hall, and then the living room was all the way at the other end. So whatever went on in the bedroom... But women would come over and spend the night, okay? Uh, and then tell me what a nice mother I had. And, <laughs> and, and they would spend the night. So uh, there was a procession of women over the three weeks who came and stayed with me. And finally, at the end of the three weeks, right, uh, my mother said, I really don't approve of your lifestyle. <laughs> She says, all these women that have paraded through this apartment over the last three weeks. She said that? Yeah. And she <laughs> said, and I don't like them much. And I said, uh, well, which one, uh, which one don't you like? Which one do you think is uh, the biggest, I guess, I didn't say it this way, but the biggest whore, right? And she said, oh, that Barbara girl, I don't like her at all. I said, well... <clears throat> Her aunt and uncle wrote the way we were, and she's a, a she's a illustrator for books for for the cover, for book covers. I said she of all the women I'm going out with is the most accomplished and comes from uh, you know a great neck, a great neck a Long Island family you know. Um, I said which one, did you like any of them? And she said well, I really like that uh, Rhoda girl. She was very nice. And I said you know what she does for a living, mom? I said no. I said. She's in porn films. <laughs> well, after I got the stick out of her mouth to keep her from swallowing her tongue, <laughs> you know, she was such a bad judge of character. <laughs> Most you know. mothers are. And not, not that the person who was doing porn had any less character than the woman who was doing book of illustrations. Course. But, it, you know, when she decided who she liked and didn't like, eh, you know. So my mother, finally my mother left him. My my sex life got back to normal. Three weeks, wow! That's a, I would have put her up in a hotel. It, well, you know, it, it, but my mother uh, my mother stayed with me, and uh, uh, you know, I wasn't going to change my lifestyle just because my mother was there. <laughs> you know, you should have stayed at their house. And, and by the time. way, that advice about never give up your bed to other people uh -huh. was my mother's advice. <laughs> she had given it to me years earlier. Uh -huh. She says, when people come to stay, you make sure you have a place for them to sleep. But don't give up your bed because that's your place. You know? And I thought that made a lot of sense. It did. I don't think I ever gave up my bed. Yeah. Right. You know, uh, but anyway, so my, and my mother wasn't 100 at this point. I mean, she was 75 or something like that. But, I mean, it was three weeks. Three <laughs> fucking weeks. That's a long time yeah. with mom. <laughs> yeah. Did you have your mom ever come to stay with you? Not three weeks. It was always on, when I lived in well, when I, when I lived in New York, they would come up and then go back the same day. It was just a visit. Or I would go to Philadelphia right. and come back. But mm -hmm. when I lived in, in D.C., mm -hmm. it was on their way to Florida yeah. or on their way back from Florida. They would, you know, spend mm -hmm. a few nights and be on their journey. Well, did you like your mother? Yeah, we were close. Oh, okay, because yeah. usually I understand that women and their mothers always have issues. No, I was close with my mother. We spoke every day. Really? Yeah. Yeah, my mother, I didn't, I wasn't that hot about my mother. Uh, you know, I mean, I always thought she was kind of stupid. And... Um, All uh, my girlfriends liked my mother. In fact, they would come and visit my mother when I was away yeah. at school. I just never, I never had that, that kind of, I always felt guilty about that. In fact, I went to a shrink once and I spent, what was it, about 25 sessions 
<laughs> or as you would call it, twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. Um, uh, they were cheap then. Uh, trying to get over a girlfriend. And finally, I said, you know, it's 20 sessions. I'm pretty much over the girlfriend. He said, well, and what else would you like to talk about? I said, well, I have problems with my mother. And he said, well, what problems do you have with your mother? And I said, I don't like her much. And he said to me, oh, that's natural. Now, let's talk about your girlfriend. And we <laughs> And finally, that's when I decided not to go to the shrink anymore because, you know, I, I got, I forget about going to the, the psych, uh, psychiatrist every week, all right? I got over the girlfriend just because she wasn't around anymore, you my, know? My mother and I had a joint session with my shrink when I lived in Washington, and my mother was so nervous. I mean, she said, do you talk like that every time you're with her? Because, yeah, no, there's... Open, open session. Well, I had money to piss with. <laughs> I could piss money back in those days. So I, I went to a shrink every week. I don't know why. You know, I was just trying to get over. I mean, I was, I had to go to one. because It's always the end of a relationship that drives you to a shrink. It did with me. Well, it drove me to a shrink because I was completely, uh, I had the inability really to do stuff to work well, so I wanted somebody to keep me on an even keel so has, I could go it, in and do the show every day. Has it day. been fixed? No. Oh, okay. I no. was just wondering. If no, I'm still grieving. I have something, I'm still gr I have something to look forward to. I'm still to. grieving over her. My mother couldn't get over how open, you know, <laughs> we were going to sit there and lie. I mean, what's the point then? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I was really, it's amazing how depressed I was. I mean, I had classical depression. Oh, like I didn't see it the other day? Well, the other day, that was because of something else altogether. It doesn't altogether. matter. It was major depression. It was another woman. <laughs> <laughs> it was major depression. No, I'm... you know what the depression was? It wasn't you. I know and it I wasn't told me. you. I told you at the time it wasn't you. I said, I don't I, want to talk. Get out of here. I came back from the dentist, and I was so depressed just over the way in which it went down. Just a dentist. It was just a thing. It was beyond your control. Haven't you ever had anything happen to you where you suddenly you go, I, "This is more. I, this really put me off." I just it just put me off. Not like that. Well, anyway, I told you. I said I don't want to talk about it. I'll talk about it when I want to talk about it. Just leave me alone. It didn't even say it that nice. Huh? I don't know. Do I talk like that yeah. when I'm depressed? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what happened? I come in from work and I said, hi, I'm home. I didn't hear anything. I th and I knew you were there. So I thought, oh, my God, maybe he's dead. Well, that's always the thing we think. When, when <laughs> Late at night when, I'm, when she's sleeping but she isn't moving at all, I kind of poke her just to make sure, you know, that she's, a, she's awake. I think every, every older married couple should have wear headgear that has a mirror on it so you can see if there's breath. breath. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so you thought I was dead. Well, I didn't hear anything, and I yelled and yelled a couple times. I was depressed, and it only got worse when I noticed that the filling she put in got loose. You allowed it to get worse. But this thing is a work of art. Okay, enough. Let's not talk about Everybody it. Everybody want to see it? Enough. You know something? It's ten twenty-three. I'm going to oh, roll no, over. No, no, it's going no, to take no, me seven no, minutes. No, it's to not roll going over. to take you seven minutes to roll over. I have an injury. I have an injured Good. wing. Well, then you shouldn't move too much. Look at this. It's still swollen. I know you. That's good. That's. Uh, I'll tell you though. I have to say something about the doctor. You have a scar. That is the just the cleanest, nicest scar I've seen. It's the kind of thing that you go, see, this is where I have my knee problem. And everybody can look at it and go, oh, gee, that's a pretty scar. But you know what's amazing? The scar was glued together. He, he used glue. Well, they do. Yeah, well, I didn't know you that. You know what they use? Elmer's glue. But basically, <laughs> basically, it's, uh, what do you call it? Super glue. No, they use the... It, well, that, no, yeah. super glue was invented as a skin adhesive. That's why if you get it on your fingers, they stick together, you have to pry them apart. That's what it was. And uh -huh. and so I think that's what they use. I mean, they probably use a more sterilized version of it in a... It's probably a version where that little there, tube... There was one stitch at each end. It, yeah, that was it, it. It comes in a little tube the same size, but that tube, because it's used for fixing your knee cost three thousand dollars i'm sure how much was yeah. my thing you said it was 20 oh i looked at your and my, this was just for this is minor minute, this, this is, is just mount sinai hospital this yeah. isn't your doctor oh mount sinai hospital there are two different bills and they total twenty five thousand dollars 
to me. Well, the anesthesiologist. Yeah. And, and and as opposed to other things, where like I got something today from my neurologist, they said they wanted sixteen bucks out. Yeah. Of me. yeah. Okay, so I, I paid him with the card, and it's very nice to do online now. Yeah, I do. Uh, but anyway, so that's great, right? Uh, uh, I um, it twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah, I got paid sixteen on a two hundred dollar visit or whatever. On your twenty five thousand dollars tells how much they pay, how much right, Medicare right, right. pays, and blah 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 blah. And, and how you much may you be responsible? And what for. you may be responsible for? You know what you're responsible for? What zero. zero? That's nice. Zero. That's the way it should be. You're walking out of a. You just made twenty five hundred thousand, twenty five thousand dollars. But twenty five thousand dollars for what happened to her to send her into the hospital and use the operating room and all of that. Twenty five thousand dollars. That's just for the hospital. It's not all the doctors. It's not the doctors, but it is the hospital. Maybe the anesthesiologist. No, that's usually there. separate. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's it, it was uh, pretty good, you know. Um, I forgot to brush my teeth today. What else is new? Well, this one's the loose one starting to really bother it's me. It's ten twenty six. No. I can start rolling I, it, over. It bothers me. It's ten twenty six. Still bothering me. The loose turn. One. Turn it on. Get start. No, I'm ready. not turning it on. It's going to take me a while to take my knee off and put it no, on this No, no, it'll take you less than a minute. So anyway. Well, let me try. No, wait a minute. So anyway, um, uh, so what are you watching? What is that piece of thing you're watching on Netflix? I forget the name of it, but it's really good. It's about um, the Civil War in Rwanda, but it's happening years later where they're bringing people to trial. I see. And John Goodman's in it. He's, mm. he's good. Is it going to be over soon? I'm on the 6-1. I don't know how many The, the one movie that Snyder recommended this week is one that I have access to. Well, we'll watch it. Uh, 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 called, uh, what, what's the name of it? Uh, they, uh, they Shall Not Be Forgotten. And it is about World War One and... and uh, Jackson. What's, what's his name? Jackson. Uh, yeah, who did uh, Lord of the Rings and right. stuff like that. Took all his technical expertise and colorized it and restored, it restored the bl old black and white video and and then oh, this is wait original a and, video and colorized this it. This is a documentary. Yeah, oh. and colorized it, and I think in the theaters it's in 3D. Oh well. Uh, but he this uh, he won the BAFTA for this thing for the best documentary. They haven't had the BAFTAs yet. Or some award, some big European award. He really is being lauded for this thing. All right, we'll watch it this so, weekend. You know, it's supposed to be very good. You started watching it, and then you went, "This bores me. I don't want to do this." No, 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 World no, no, War Two, no, no. it's game. World War One, rather. You know, you, whatever. But it's because okay. I wanted to watch okay. it. No, no, yeah. oh no, on. oh god. Uh, well, leg. let me uh, let me uh, hold on a second while wow, she's crawling over here. Look at what's happening here. Yeah, I got to get my yeah. leg propped yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Come on in. I'm coming. Come on in. Oh, it, it, well, you have to. I could put it up here. Well, you, no, might no. I I don't know where you're gonna put your leg. Can't you can't bend it, huh? <laughs> I wish I could. Yeah, well, you're the, the cons there. considerate exercise. Oh, there she goes. All right, she's got. I wish I I I, I really wish this camera because it's over there. I could take it and, and show you what she's doing. But I could lift it. No, there, there. there, there oh, you is. see, there's the bandage. There's the ba this is the bandage it's, right it's here. It's not the. It is just the wrap. Well, well, you want to see the scar? There's. See, you can't even see it. It goes all the way down here. Yeah, yeah, but it's pretty. Yeah, it's cute. You know. Then I have to put a wrap on it and then a brace when I go out. Really? Yeah. Oh. You see me? Yeah, I guess. Oh, you know what I got to do? I got to put up the Skype here. And you got to open up the whatever. Yeah, I said open up the Skype lines. Call. What? I'm good for another minute. Yeah, let's see if anybody wants to call. Ah, uh, that's the problem. See, that's the problem is, is getting them to call, but. Uh, Anyway, so anyway, she's uh, she's uh, she's on the mend. Um, it's just taking so long. Hmm? It's just taking so long. And it's not going to take any. It's going to. You know, it's, it's painful. Huh? It's painful because you have to force yourself. What happens is there's all this. Um, um, what do you call it? Cartilage around around where the surgery was, and you have to break that down in order to bend your knee. So in other words, part of the part of the therapy is not getting the knee working again, but also all the all the stuff around it. As all it the were. what's it called? Yeah. It's not cartilage. It's but you know all that stuff. Yeah. 
Anyway, I've got the uh, got the lines open, Everybody, folks. we're ready. We're here. It's see, 1030. No, see, nobody wants to talk to you. Nobody wants to talk to old people. Nobody wants to talk to old, old people. people. Listen, if you don't start kissing, uh, <laughs> if you don't start calling soon, we'll start kissing. Yeah, that'll turn you and off. And we'll do tongue kissing, too. Uh, we'll, we'll do the big tongue kiss, and then that'll make you want to call. A few years ago, I was on the subway, and these two older people, couple, mm -hmm. were really passionately kissing on the subway, and it was such a turn off. <laughs> Really? It was a turn off. I saw two I saw two homeless people on a stoop in New York City and I said, I wish I had a camera because in those days you didn't have a camera everywhere. Right now you just take out your telephone. And they were sitting on a stoop and above them it said no loitering and they were kissing. <laughs> no, and, that's not loitering. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not loitering. Hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, first up and is Kevin, closely followed by Bye. Charlie. Uh, Charlie. Hello, Kevin. Kevin. Wait a minute. Oh. Ew. oh, okay. There we go. You got it, hey, Kevin? Hey, Charlie. Uh, hi, Marjorie. Hi, hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Wait, what, hi, is Marge, the, hi, Charlie. what is in the way of your camera there, Charlie? Oh, that's the cover for my printer. I can move it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just looks weird. It's still there, yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now let's see. Oh, uh -oh. Got a camera. <laughs> uh oh. No, now you got to get it up. Perfect. You got it. Yeah. You got it. Uh, let's see yeah. here. Um, here comes here comes Phil Meyer. Um, hello, Phil. Hello, Phil. Hi. Boy, last night you just made me. Angry? Yeah, I know. I, I I literally was, I think, physically sick by the show the time the show was over. Oh, I wouldn't want to do that. Well, you know, you were really, Hi, you were just, you were just getting me so mad. Well, Is it something you were about Trump? Was you it about know, you're so Trump misinformed. Uh, but, uh, no, here we go. Here, here we, we go. go. <laughs> Is it going to be another night like that? Hi, Josh. I'm not going to. I wouldn't. I don't want to make you sick. Uh, you're I, just I, as you mis know. misinformed as your leader, Phil. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> so, oh, no, hey, listen, yeah. listen, listen, listen! I got to tell you, and I'm, I'm so, I'm so oh, did happy. Did you hear? I'm did so, you hear? I'm so happy for you. According to Trump, the wall has been built. Yeah. And 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 according <laughs> 115 wait, wait, miles of it. And according to Trump, there's another caravan coming up. A new yeah. one. And, but, but they, we don't have to worry about it now because he finished the wall. It's finishing. Yeah. It's in the process. Yeah. Well, uh, there's a couple of doors. Uh, you know, one is uh, carpet installers. Yeah. Uh, the other one is, uh, you know, uh, factory workers. And, yeah. You know, we, we actually need uh, workers. Uh, unemployment's so low that, uh, you know, we need workers. I, I just wish that they would put together some guest program and, uh, bring them no, in. We'll get into all that shit in a little while. Yeah, you after I've left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. John, but, yeah. How, how's the weather in your part of the country? Where are you again? It, me? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, the Skype is not working no, as good as you usual. Live? I can't where see you, myself on here or anything, live? so hopefully you can see me. I can okay. see if I can see it fine, but my okay. qu my question uh, is, what part of the country are you in again? I live uh, about twenty minutes south of Columbus, Ohio. Okay, that's cold. In, like so, a really so small, you, yeah. like rural community. So you must have been freezing your fucking ass off in the last. Oh yeah, years. it was pretty cold, and then uh, if. It didn't warm up, and then last night it snowed all night long. So this morning we had like six inches of oh snow. Oh my god! Terrible. Oh wow! Wow! So it's. I think though. I think it's gonna probably melt tomorrow because it's gonna be like thirty-eight. Here it's gonna be sixty. Right. <laughs> no, not, yeah, it's not gonna tomorrow. Be like, uh, well, mid fifties. In, in the next, the next couple like, days. Sunday, yeah. Monday, by by Sunday, I think it's supposed to be sixty degrees, which means yeah. a difference wow. between two days ago and Sunday. Of something like 57 degrees. It, yeah, they yeah. said Chicago's going to have like an 80, 80 degree swing or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was two degrees when I went to work yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it was like, uh, so I guess when it started like two nights ago, it was like it was like nine or ten below here overnight. And that was the temperature. I mean, that's not the windshield deal. That was yeah. the temp. Wait a minute. So wait, well, somebody uh, did. Wait, somebody stuck. did something. Phil, well, did you like do something? No, I didn't, I didn't touch anything. Phil, somebody's well, I, doing. I can actually see myself now. <laughs> no, yeah, no, but you. Somebody did something. Uh, yeah, something it's, Je happened. it's Jeff Stein. It's Jeff, yeah, I saw. Uh, if you Jeff. look in the right corner of the screen, it's got his name. Uh, okay, uh, 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 Jeff. 
Hang Hello. up hang up, hang up and call back again, will you, Hello. Jeff? And where's Charlie's all Please. the way up there? Uh, you might lose oh, us what all. is that? What the fuck is that all about? <laughs> Well, he's sharing screen is what he's doing. Oh, yeah, Jesus. That looks happens. like the Andromeda uh, Galaxy. Look, look. Oh, boy. What do I do here? Uh, how, uh, how, start again. Jeff. How do I Jeff get... Jeff is logging out. How, I can, yeah. Is, yeah. Log out. Yeah. Log out. Log out. Please. Shut down. He is. Hang on. Shut down. There he goes. He is. Okay, there <laughs> we go. Oh, okay, we're Jesus. Back to there we go. And now while he was gone, Ray Renati joined us. Where's Ray? What, 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 what? Oh, there he Tell is. Tell me, because I don't use the new Skype, the new Hello. wonderful Skype. What is it that Jeff did that well, made that happen? he just shared his screen, but then he logged himself off his computer completely, so he's rebooting everything. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's really tempting to share your screen. There's a little button there. It's like, well, I wonder what happens if I push this. <laughs> yeah. And then, boom. But how do you want? Now we have full screen, Alex. How do you want to share your screen? Push it again. Oh. Yeah. Can you can you see each other now and everything fine? Jeff's not here. Hey, everybody. We just have you. Do you just have me? Oh, wait a minute. No, I think we just drag our circles down. Yeah, yeah, there we yeah. Go. yeah, yeah you just drag them. Where's I'm Jeff? Here. Isn't that new Skype wonderful? Isn't it terrific? <laughs> no, it sucks. Eh, it's so just bad. inconvenient. It's all right. Sucks the big one. Hmm? So is there is there a way? I heard you guys talking like a week ago that you can go back to the old version. Yeah, Is that there's, right, uh, or there's, what? there's because there's, I I tried to find a way and I couldn't. Yes. I have Windows 10. Go back, go back. You have to find a secret uh, website. Uh, okay, for the Windows machines, what I'm you do? I'm leaving all the IT okay. people and saying good night. Okay. Good night. Good night, guys. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're doing a little better. I am. Yeah. But yeah. I don't Keep moving to, that knee. I, I don't want to hear this again. A anyway, um, uh, yeah, here we go. Here comes Jeff again. Hey, Jeff. Um, uh, Jeff, do us a favor. Don't ever push the button that says share. <laughs> because that was, you know, Skype is so, so Skype is so wonderful that way. It was nice to share your screen. Um, <laughs> Well, he's but, a generous guy. No, but when I was gonna, <laughs> too bad there was no porno on there or something. Yeah, fun. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, you didn't well, see the porno? No. Yeah, well, anyway, what was <laughs> I going to I didn't share my screen. Where was I? What What, what was I talking about? Um, uh, oh, Skype. I oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, the, uh, here's what you do if you want it, uh, Josh. It's it called, uh, you go online and say old versions of Skype or something. You'll come up with several sites that have old versions of Skype. And you want the one that is 7.36 something. I can't remember Hold on a second. Maybe I can get the whole. Okay. Whole yeah, because I must there. thought about it. If not, I was just going to take my old laptop, which is Windows 7, and just start bringing it in here if I call, because that's the old one that I used to have to use the headset and everything on, because it still has the old version, because, you know, okay. it can't update. Something. Okay, it is. And it, it was great. It, yeah, go to, go to Skype, uh, old Skype, and find some sites that have old Skype, and then go d download 7.36.0.101. Okay, and uh, that one, it, for some reason, uh, uh, they can't stop. Uh, everything else, you can't use Skype unless you upgrade to the new Skype. But with that one, for some reason, they're, they're stuck with it. Uh, now, I think that will work. If not, there is a page that I went to. Let me, let me in fact, let me, uh, let me find this for everybody because a lot of people hate Make it. sure you uninstall the new one completely first. You have to uninstall the new yeah, one. I made completely. that mistake. Yeah. And then you go yeah. to, I'll tell you the, uh, I'll tell, oh, no, that's not it. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let's screen two here. Let me find it here. <coughs> bum, 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 bum. What's the name of the site? What's the name of the site? Uh, it's, uh, um, you should link it on gabnet.net. Well, a, no, a, uh, no I, I don't want to make a big deal out of it. Oh. Okay. Um, where is it? It was, no, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the, oh, here we go. Download Skype Classic. And if I remember correctly, yeah, this is the, this is the page. Go to, uh, winnytips.com uh, winnytips.com it's w-i-n-y t-i-p-s and then I guess you will come to a page and you what you want to do is download classic Skype and there's a whole 
description because he's got a download thing for the one that he downloaded and then you use okay. that to download it uh, okay but let me see here yeah uh, just type in uh, I guess you could type in the uh, um, uh, oh, what is it um, um, you go to um, just type in the term Download classic Skype in their search engine there. Okay. Uh, and uh, I, you'll, you'll find that. And down at the very bottom, initially they have you download something, but that doesn't work. And then further down, you, they have uh, an update. And it says uh, download classic 736.0, whatever. And then click here. And it's down at the bottom of the page. Up, up above is stuff they were doing initially. Um, I know this is confusing people, but I'm just wondering where on the line you could go. Uh, but uh, Josh, just leave the circles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the, this this new Skype is, is. I mean, I know you don't want to spend the whole show on it. It's fine. I I'll figure it out. Phil, it sucks on Windows. Yeah, I heard some people talking about it uh, like a sh week or two ago on here, and I was like, man, how did they get it? You know, because. This new Skype is terrible. I mean, I, I cannot believe that they even the new someone got paid money to think this shit up and put it out. It's like, <laughs> yeah. you know what's you know what's weird is it's okay on the Mac, even though Microsoft owns it, and it's horrible on Windows. I don't get that. Uh, right? It's, it, yeah, it, it's, it's it, terrible. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me go back to that and uh, um, download uh, uh, Skype. Uh, let me see if I were to go into search here. Uh, download Skype. Uh, load Skype. Okay, in the search engine there at winnytips.com. Let me see if it comes up. Okay, ba -ba -bum. let me just do that. Nope, that doesn't show it up. Oh, I found a link for them that said download classic Skype 741 yeah, 101. Yep, that's it. That's it. Okay. You found it. Okay, you found it. Yeah, I just Good. I just uh, think in their search box I just typed download, mm -hmm. or I just typed classic Skype. Oh, okay. Just in the search engine thing, classic Skype. Yeah, I actually typed classic Sky because for some reason the P button on my computer is not working, which no, is no. pretty common with Windows. You, it seems like you get a key or two that doesn't work here, then you'll have to restart your computer. But No, you know something? Oh, it doesn't. It do, I just, does the same thing with mine. It won't let you do oh, the P. Oh, so it must be their website. It must be their website, yeah. But you do that, and it, uh, you, yeah, you download class, Skype Classic is what you can put in. And they will, uh, that, that will, that will allow you to get the, uh, the, this one version that they've found. Uh, what it does is it doesn't exactly take you to a site that, that lets you download it. It takes you to this guy's, um, uh, what do you call it? What's it, uh, the mailbox thing that, uh, uh, let me see if I can find out where it takes you exactly. It Dropbox or something like it, that? It no, it takes you to a, uh, not a Dropbox, it takes you download uh, classic Skype. Um, wait a minute, download uh, Skype portable. No, I don't want that. Um, where is that? It doesn't seem to be doing it now. Hold on. Um, download Skype classic portable. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want the where where what happened to it? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Download Skype Classic. It's down towards the bottom of the page in a big red uh, covered thing. And what brings up is it takes you to his OneDrive. And it has that particular version, which supposedly is completely free uh, from uh, the wonderful line of... Uh, of uh, uh, must upgrade. Uh, 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 must upgrade. Yeah. The only thing it does is it constantly will ask you if you want to download the new version. My right. my thing is once you get this, keep a copy of it on your desktop. So if it ever and also by the way, when you go in, get put that Skype in immediately. Go up and turn off automatic upgrades. Okay. Yeah. If at upgrades. any time you upgrade, just get rid of the upgrade and go back and use the one you've got on your desktop to reinstall it. Okay. But actually, I like it better than the one that was the last one I could use because the last one I could use didn't put everybody's name at the bottom of their picture, you know? 
And that looks terrific, you know, and everybody can tell who's talking and what their names are. And, yeah, I thought know. the one that they had when you first started the show was fine. I mean, hey, listen, was, you know, uh, hey, it, you know, it, it, Alex, it could be wrong, but it seems to me that the picture resolution is better on the older one, too. Yeah, it, it, it's good. It's good. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that it's better, but it's fine. Uh, and uh, it it is really, um, um, I think it's terrific, you know. Uh, but uh, who knows? Uh, eventually, the people at Skype will figure out a way to fuck this one up. But if you go to this guy's OneDrive, which he has you do, and it's it's the one he lists in kind of a red background area at the towards the bottom. Uh, it, 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 that one supposedly be, is not coming from Skype. It's something that somebody hacked with or whatever to make sure that they couldn't, you know, force you to. But it will constantly say, "Do you want to download?" That what that happens. That that's the minor annoyance in it all. But it's just so much better than what they've got now. And you know, I just don't know what they were thinking. You know. Uh, I I understand you want to make a product better, but it was really good, and you can make it better, but you don't have to make it different. And what it did to me in doing this program is that I uh, I I use I I pick up the uh, part of the screen that is the Skype panel, and I put that into my switcher here, and I get it right. There, you can't do that with the new Skype. It'll only do it on my Mac. It won't do it here uh, on the Windows. And so I have to have another program to do it with, and that program will only take one person's picture at a time. It's just, it's horrible. I, in other words, if I had to go back, go to the new, win, the new Skype, I could, would have to stop doing the citizen panel, at least as presently constituted. I'd have to go back to doing an audio-only show. And so um, I'm glad I found this fix, at least for the time being. And I, I, every, every Monday I come in and I say, is today the day that they found a way to stop me from using it? But apparently they haven't. So, you know, but what, I don't know what is wrong with Microsoft. What is their thinking about something like this? You know, you make something better. You don't make it worse. Are you going to go to your uh, Mac Pro pretty soon to uh, do your uh, do your show? No, no. I'm putting the Mac Pro in tomorrow, uh, yeah. and I think it'll happen without incident because I've I've got the whole thing set up in another room, and it's just a matter of bringing it in here and setting it up here. Uh, so, but you're not going to use it in, in lieu of the no, one that you're using. No, to. because I could I could use uh, I could use uh, I I don't know maybe I could, but I don't want to have to. You know. I figure it's just got a lot more power, and uh, no, but, uh, but it this doesn't is, give you the Skype problems. That well, uh, I don't. Wait, wait a minute, it doesn't give me this. I don't have Skype problems with Windows, with the Windows machine. It did. No, I don't. I had problems with the with the new Skype, but I didn't have problems any other way. In fact, this this Windows machine has worked beautifully for doing the show. I do the switching on it and and everything else. Um, uh, but you know, I might have to. I might see what I can what I can do with uh, with uh, Skype on the on the new machine. But we'll, you know, it it, it will, would just change a lot of stuff. So I mean, it's my last fallback because that one I can use an old version of Skype and it doesn't force me to upgrade. Right. You know, that's the good thing about the Mac version because Microsoft doesn't give a shit about Mac, so they just forgot that's, about it. That's why I mentioned it. Yeah. Yeah. But. But Alex, what? Ray, uh, you muted again. Ray. You have all you have all that software set up on there to get onto YouTube and everything. You'd have to redo everything on the Mac, to, and who knows if it would even work, right? No, 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 it would work. Oh. I mean, you know, oh, okay. it, it, that's not the big problem. Uh, the big problem oh. is, is that you know, I, I, to begin with, for some reason on the Mac, though, I, I'm going to have to test it on a couple of occasions, but. Uh, there, there was a tendency on the Mac for uh, the uh, video, uh, the audio and video not syncing up very well. Uh, now I don't know if that was because of the machine or whatever, but you know, we'll, we'll have to see. I'll, I'll be playing around with it, but hopefully I can. If I get this thing installed tomorrow. I hopefully I just bring in the hard drives I've been using and uh, the external hard drives and hook them up. 
and get them going and then plug this thing in and plug all the, d the displays in and I've got it working in the other room perfectly. So the question is, will it just work perfectly when I bring it in here and I don't see any reason why it won't, okay? So uh, if at, at the very least, it's gonna be an easy install tomorrow. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm getting a new, I'm gonna get a new board, uh, a new uh, mixer board. You don't wanna use the one I sent you? I don't have room for it here. In, the stu in this studio, in front of me, I don't have room. That thing, d d you know, it goes from here to, to Poughkeepsie, you know. Um, I, I, so I, I can't use that. But uh, there is one that's exactly this size, um, made by Mackie. Yeah, just uh, make sure that uh, how many aux sends you have. You want at least four. Why? I don't use my aux sends now. Well, once you learn how to do a mix minus, you will. No, the mix minus on that is simpler. Yeah? Yeah, you simply do it through the USB. They, they, I saw a whole thing on it. It's just you, you hook it up, a certain, we just do a certain thing with saying this goes to this and this goes to that on your, on your preferences. And then you uh, turn off the USB in the thing, and it, it was a whole thing. It's very simple. It's not a yeah. not a big deal. It's not you don't have to have all the aux, didn't didn't say a word about aux sends, okay? So yeah, uh, but I mean I don't care. I don't. I, what I, I haven't had uh, mix minus on this for ever since I started doing it. Have we had any real problems? Slapback occasionally, once in a great while. You know, and you might get the slap back anyway, because we don't know that that isn't a Skype problem, uh, rather than a, than a mix minus problem. The only advantage might be that if I go to mix minus, you people might be able to hear me when I yell at you because you aren't bringing the sound down and things right. like that. But I don't know that that will fix that problem. Hello, Charlene. Hi. Yeah. You know something? I I'm bothered. I we haven't heard from um, Renee. Renee. In since the first of the year. So I, I worry about her. I, I think she's still alive because people say they've seen her on the, uh, on the, chat. Uh, on the chat. Did you say that Kevin, you saw her on the chat? Saw her once. Yeah. When? She is around. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't think we pissed her off. I didn't think she ever got pissed off about anything with us. Uh, but I worry about her when I don't hear from somebody that long. And while I you know don't, it's scary. What? Mike, yeah, Mike, Mike Allen over that, on uh, the intersection has yeah. not been on in weeks. I know. No one could get a hold of him. I talked to her sister-in-law. She doesn't know where he is. And no one knows what's going on with the guy. Yeah, Mike Allen <laughs> is a guy who uh, it, uh, Jack uh, uh, got by default uh, because I kicked him off the show. Uh, yeah. And and uh, um, it wasn't that I disliked him, but to begin with, that voice drove me crazy. Uh, uh, and, yeah, the cigarette hacking. Uh, yeah, know. yeah. So, so I. But I'm. We're worried about him. Yeah, I'm. I, well, I'm worried about. I was going to bring him up next because I'm worried yeah. about him that he's not okay. You know, uh, and uh, oh. you know, it's funny because we do a show like this. And if somebody just suddenly disappears, we don't know whether they're alive, they're dead, whatever. And yes, yeah, Scott Boddicker hasn't been around either, right? Well, yeah, but Scott, we know Scott's around. He, he was calls, on yesterday. Yeah, he, he, he was on the intersection. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Oh. I mean, Scott. Uh, Scott has a. You know, he, he he calls when he feels like it. You know, he he calls when he hears that Phil sleeping. isn't going to be yeah. here. You know, that's the advantage of a, a Phil free dot night is because we get Scott <laughs> Boddicker. And Alex, I felt bad for you last night. Like I wanted to call, but I couldn't. <laughs> well, I, uh, I, lis I listened to the show and by the way, Ray, some other people. <laughs> Ray, I think we can hear the air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna lock, I'm gonna close it because I I don't have enough battery to turn off the mic, and I'll come back on later when I get home. Okay, okay. great. Talk to you All later. Right, okay. Bye. 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 What were you saying? Bye. You felt sorry for me last night. I felt sorry for me last night. I know. I listened to the whole show, but you, you it was really <laughs> exciting though. <laughs> it's it's hard to defend such a, a poor position. No, that, no, uh, Phil, Phil, that you okay. had to defend. Phil, you were you such know, an think. asshole last night. Uh, I didn't think so. You know, I, and I, I, I you, know, you know, I love you dearly. You know, you're a long term friend. 
and I, I think the world of you. I know people find that difficult to believe because, you know, he really is a horrible human being. But nevertheless, I'm, I've been pretty good about uh, with him. Uh, and, and, uh, but last night, you were, just, you were just taking such idiotic p positions on things that it was I just... I will say you did stand your ground. I mean, you did whatever did ground that. that was. Yeah, I know, but but he was he he did stand there. He yeah, but I mean, yelling, yeah. he, he would as asinine as it was, he, he did he, stay there. You would stand up for stupid <laughs> stuff last night, you know. I mean, come on, you, come on, tell us something you don't like about Trump. Come on, give it, give us something. There's got to be something. Uh, his home, especially home. today. Especially today. Yeah. It's, Why? Because he's going to have a uh, an emergency uh, build the wall. From what I understand, there's been 58 emergency sessions since Carter, and uh, most of them are still in place. What do you mean uh, emergency? You know, what, um, what do you mean? Not in a session. Uh, what, what does he say? Uh, he's going to declare an, a declaration of emergency. National or emergency. State of emergency. State, State of, of emergency. emergency. Right. And yeah, uh, well, it's usually for a flood. Or yeah. something that's blown up, or something else. You know, it's not imaginary people coming over walls. Uh, we're going to make a lot of money on fentanyl. You know, they just got what two hundred fifty-two pounds in a cucumber truck. Yeah, but they could have pulled that out of an evidence closet. Yeah, but that, can, that was in a, a that table. was in a truck coming down a, a road through the into the United States. This wasn't yeah. a, a, this was no wall would have stopped this truck. No, well, they got uh, that the normal way. The uh, the border patrol people seem to feel that uh, a barrier in certain places is warranted, and uh, well, so, no, I, I only, some, they, only some, only some, and see those it if are. They and got the, that, huh? If they got that fentanyl off of a, uh, a a sand rail or something in the middle of the desert, and the guy was coming across in a sand rail with a couple of trailers behind him or something, maybe he'd have a point. But they got that coming through the border. So in a container, yeah. So that's where you're supposed to get them. That's but where what happens don't need a wall. is if, if you have if you have a barrier or a wall, uh, it funnels then the traffic to the uh, proper crossings. It where doesn't the, matter. But, but, that's but, where but, he but, but they're not anyway. using. That's the, the way he went anyway. They're using uh, those crossings right now. Yeah, he was there. Yeah, anyway. They are. Yes, but uh, how many? How many? How many other people? Oh, are here not we using go again. Crosses? Here we go again. And oh, God, I can't take it. To, you know, they're not able to find the stuff. I wish uh, I had a gun. I'd blow my brains out right now. You want to borrow a gun? Yeah. Put on your helmet. Put on your helmet. Charlie, Alex. you said something there. Let me hear what you had to say, and then uh, Charlene. Yes, Charlie. I said so. We don't need a wall then if we can catch it. Coming through the um, right regular way now. Right, that's the point, I, Charlie. How do you know what they're not catching? If uh, you know, if it's if stuff is coming over the other way, is it worth? They're $6 not billion, going to be shipping. I don't see Phil. any proof that there's a whole bunch of stuff getting through that we're not catching. Well, I'm sure, Phil, sure, Phil, I'm sure, Phil, 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 Phil. They're not going to take. Uh, thousands and how much? How much? How much fentanyl was this? It was uh, two hundred fifty-two pounds. Two hundred fifty-two pounds. They're not going to take two hundred fifty-two pounds across a desert. You know, they're going to take the the road in, and they they have ways of doing it. And you know, yeah, they, we, they caught two hundred and fifty, but there was probably you know a hundred thousand that's gotten through because they didn't catch it. But it came yeah, over. It, it came, a wall. But no, it. Had, if a wall was there, it doesn't matter. They're still coming through the regular roads, Phil. Yeah. Well, yeah, we want them to come through the regular roads. Yes, and then we don't catch it. Uh, well, they, uh, if they give them part of that stuff, oh, Phil. Is so for just things, shut the yeah, fuck yeah, up. I can't take this I again. I knew a tonight. guy that invented uh, a, a thing <laughs> that they put on the side of trucks, and they could figure out if there was false areas in, in the truck. Uh, and, Phil, and they I am the sure. I am sure they're using everything at their disposal. All I'm saying is this stuff is not coming over a point where a fence would be built. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I want to keep out Al Qaeda and ISIS. And Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda. That's last year's terrorist, Al Qaeda. What are you doing with your Al Qaeda? Yeah. You know, this is like people are going like, you know, are you smoking the pot. Come on, what, Al-Qaeda. 
Yeah. No. Hey, uh, how how about uh, being able to kill children uh, at uh, at birth, and it's uh, legal in New York? Well, I have a problem with that, but let Charlene take this. Oh, yeah. Well, Phil stole my topic because I was going to bring that one up as my topic. Oh, and you can have it. I have to, I can, I have to keep remembering because otherwise I'll forget. Um, I, I was watching CNN and Trump is now lying and saying that he's building the wall like out of his own funding, but it's a lie. And, and uh, that's why he's going to try this emergency thing. He's lying to the stupid idiots that still listen to him and saying that he's building his own wall. He's, and he, he said it's already been right. built. Today he said it's almost finished. Yes, right, right. He's not lying, Charlene. He was just laying down. <laughs> Another bad joke. <laughs> no, but you want to get back to the abortion thing here in the state. Did they pass okay, that today? Because I, 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 I don't watch the news that much. What, uh, Charlie? Yeah. Uh, the only time you ever do a late-term abortion like that is when the life of the mother is at risk. No, and now, uh, from they what don't I just understand, arbitrarily decide to do murder. it in New York. In New York, they uh, Cuomo passed some some deal where these uh, late-term abortions are up to the woman and the doctor. Uh, okay. And That's uh, been. well, no, not in the fourth trimester. Right now it's murder though because usually it's murder. So now they're saying that they can it's not murder. make a baby that early. I mean that late, that late. Yeah. Right? Fourth trimester is after birth. Yeah, if the umbilical cord I think is still attached. Uh, there, uh, you know, I, I mean, this is what I hear on the news. I don't know how how much of it's true. Well, you know, how, late how if, if, you, if you try to give a, an abortion to a woman who is. Uh, uh, going to give birth a couple of days later chances are that baby's going to come out alive yeah so so this idea of of uh, a late term abortion i mean you know me personally i think that if you haven't made your mind up after two trimesters yeah then you know obviously you have some serious doubts about whether you want an abortion or not uh, i don't think most women would have an abortion in their third trimester, even if they didn't want the kid. You know, they. What was the reason? With sonogram, especially what with was, sonogram. Yeah, but what was the reason for them wanting this and and all sorts of issues about the Catholic Church and? I think uh, the, I think from what I can see, and I don't have time to read it right now, but it looks like it has something to do with uh, Roe versus Wade and what Roe versus Wade actually says, and the fact that they feel that women do have the right to determine for themselves if they want abortion or not, even up to the last minute. Now, how many of those last-minute abortions we're going to see, I think, are going to be so rare. Uh, I don't think you'll see most abortions you won't see after the second, uh, after halfway through the second trimester, just because, you know, at that point, a woman's uh, uh, inner uh, mother starts coming into play. And, and Alice, and, with a sonogram, you start to see the baby moving around and all that. Like, if they're going to do sonograms, I mean, you know, you, you can see the baby's alive and they're moving around. What's, what's the earliest alive. you can see that? Is it in the first trimester? Uh, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I think it's... Alex knows. It, I really don't know. I, I would imagine that it's probably not during the first trimester. It's late. Uh, yeah, late first trimester. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can start seeing things. Yeah. Yeah, heartbeat, that kind of stuff. Isn't it a zygote or something? At it's first? It, well, you can the, see the heartbeat the, real the, early. The original uh, uh, child, the one that you would probably abort if you just did something within a couple of weeks, would be you could call a zygote, uh, mm -hmm. and it's very small and hasn't developed. Um, uh, you know, I mean, I think that this is the kind of decision I've often said this that, that you have to make for yourself. In my, if I had, I'm in cases in my life where a woman has gotten pregnant, uh, um, I remember uh, my friend Kathleen. Uh, she thought she might be pregnant, and she sheepishly told me, and I said, "Well, good. If you if you're pregnant, we'll have the kid, and we'll have a beautiful child." Uh, my feeling has always been that it, when it happens to me, I would not be thinking in terms of an abortion, you know. Uh, but 
it's not my decision to make. It's hers to make. That's second. And, but that I don't have the right to tell someone else what to do with their body. And that's she, the bottom now, line. Wait a minute. Charlie has his hand up, Phil. I did, too. Well, no, not before Charlie. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I've got three kids, and I was in the delivery room with those kids, and I saw what my wife went through during labor. And I don't think you have a right to tell any woman that she's <laughs> got to do that if she doesn't want to do it. Yes, Phil. All uh, All right. Uh, I, I understand, you know, that childbirth is, is difficult, but uh, where does the right of the child's, uh, the right to live? He has no, uh, he has no right. Uh, what do you mean it has no right? has no right. When the child in, in the fourth trimester can okay. live outside in the, the womb. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you just say the fourth trimester? I'm just going to say what? Did you just say the fourth trimester? Yeah, well, isn't that the fourth <laughs> Uh, isn't that oh a try three? Yeah, uh, the third <laughs> yes, <trimester>. I think <laughs> All so. All right, uh, in, in you know uh, at the end of the uh, nine month cycle in New York, they can abort it uh, right up until birth. And but even, that, if if a doctor and the patient decide that that's what's needed, it might be a, a health matter or whatever. But they didn't want to put a restriction to, to on that to save the mother's life. Yeah. yeah, they didn't want to put a restriction on that if if the mother's life is in jeopardy. Yep. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, every late term abortion yeah. is because of the life of the, of the woman well I, I i'm all for fourth trimester abortion yeah uh because abortion. that way we could have gotten trump before he became trouble <laughs> uh you know um but i'm just saying that um you know it's it's not our right to have somebody else to decide for somebody else what they're going to do with their body. You've got to have I, this child, you know. You can't I, I just think that the child has rights too. The child doesn't have any yeah. rights at all. Yeah. Uh, if, if if you yank the child out of the womb at in the second trimester, uh, believe me, you're not going to find somebody who can survive and go out and get a job. Okay? There, you know, there no, are they, no, they're not a human being. They are a um, a, a growing entity, which once it comes, out, I think when it comes out of the vagina, it's then a human being. Up yep. until then, it's it's the possession of the womb. What were you saying, Kevin? You're making once the cord is cut, it becomes a human being. Exactly, it's on its own. Yeah, because it's living independently. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> I think the minute that that, uh, that that entity can live independently, uh, fine. And as so, you usually you see, I mean, I, I don't feel comfortable with somebody after the second trimester getting an abortion. I feel uncomfortable with that, but it's not my right to tell her she can't. You remember Terry Schiavo? Uh, you, know, they, well, I, you know, they ended up taking all the life support off of her, and she ended up living. She was from New you Jersey. Know, yeah, that was that was. Is she still that alive? Phil? Is she still alive, Phil? I don't, I don't know. I think she but, died, no, Phil. No, she's not. Yeah, still alive. <laughs> I think yeah she but she died. was alive for a while after they for a while. Life for a while. And and so uh, you know because she couldn't uh, live on her own, or at least they thought that. Uh, therefore, it was okay to the uh, main thing. You may abort that. The main thing would be to probably put her out of her misery because she was never going to come out of that and she was always and there was be, no brain activity at all yeah her husband, and yet all you, you well, that sounds like democrats yeah i mean it, it, oh, <laughs> here we go again somebody kill me just somebody kill me and that yeah. sounded like a republican <laughs> what somebody please kill me oh yeah. no, uh, no, no, no 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 brain no. activity um yes uh, charlene I just want to let you know, I don't want to switch any topics, but I'm keeping one in my head. If you want one, let me know, because I have one in my head, but I won't say it because oh, okay. I don't want to switch a topic yet. Oh, OK. If you don't want to. No, well, but I'll we'll come to you probably any minute that Phil acts up. OK, so. <laughs> OK. <laughs> uh, no, but I mean, it, 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 it's it's really uh, uh, an ethical question of how much right does the mother have? Uh, I, you know, I, if somebody wants to get an abortion in the first trimester, go ahead. I think it's good if they get it as soon as possible, you know, because it, make your decision, do it. But don't and it go through a second trimester and then say, I think I want the abortion. You know, I think that, but I, again, I don't have the right to make that decision or to even offer up an opinion on that, except to say that if it were my child, I would do everything possible to convince the mother not to have the abortion okay yes uh, charles 
Well, um, look at it this way, Phil. Why should that needs of the child stop just because it was born? If, if the child is born and they find out he's got some rare blood condition and has to have some transplant from the mom, nobody's going to force her to give a part of her liver or kidney or anything. She has to. She makes that decision on her own. So after yeah. the child is born, the well, mother has well, to. Let me ask you this: you know, we, we have a right has no in this country, the life, liberty, her. and the pursuit of happiness, and you're taking away. Well, you have uh, to be. You have to be. A, 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 child you have to rights. be a person before they babies the in the womb do not rights. have you, civil you can, rights. You can deny. You can deny Your that it's a person. Your stop at my body. No, you can you deny have no that civil it's rights not necessarily. Somebody else can give them the liver. You know, uh, the thing is. Uh, Let me ask you this you question, know, Phil. You, you if, and if, many if, others. If, if, if you go, no, wait a minute. If you go, you take. Oh, shut up, Phil. If you go into, uh, 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 you take a, a sonogram, and you find out the baby's got a face where his feet should be, uh, you know, and he's. It'll probably it, die. Wait, hold anyway. on a second. No, no. A lot of freaks get born. Okay, a lot of freaks get born. And you found out that your child was going to be a bloody freak. What would you do? Well, uh, you know, well, what when, would you do, uh, Phil? Don't I, give I, me, I don't give me. It, no, you're you're going to give me one of your little uh, funny uh, what about no, no, I'll give you the honest answer. Uh, six months into uh, my ex's first uh, uh, pregnancy, uh, she uh, miscarried, and uh, the baby was born still. But uh, you know, I. I was saying to myself, you know, I really hope that the baby doesn't, you know, uh, come out alive because, you know, it was only six months into the yeah. into the yeah. term, yeah. and and I guess there was some genetic issue. Uh, so uh, anyway, yeah, uh, it was a mire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I I didn't I didn't want the baby to die. I uh, you know, but no, but if you if, I if would hope that it didn't have to go through, uh, you know, a life <laughs> with problems. There are certain yeah. um, inherited diseases yeah. uh, that are deadly. Um, a good one would be the one that uh, Arlo Guthrie was subject to. His father died of it, which was, I can't remember what the disease is called. Huntington's, Huntington's Korea. Korea. Or Huntington's Korea. In which if you uh, have a child and you have Huntington's Korea, that child has a 50% chance, 50% chance of having Huntington's Korea. Now, if you knew that you had Huntington's Korea, uh, and your wife was now pregnant, and there was a fifty percent chance that kid was gonna was gonna get Huntington's Korea. What would you do? Oh, uh, probably. I, I don't. I don't know what Huntington's, Huntington's Korea, Korea is. Huntington's Korea is a death sentence. Okay, let me just say uh, that. Well, uh, and, and by know, the I, way, by I, the I way, can't it, help this. it's strange. I can't help it. It doesn't. Alex, Huntington's does that Korea come from Kim Jong Un. Huntington's Korea doesn't manifest itself until you're 40. At 40, you find out whether you have it or not. Now, I knew Arlo, and that's what Arlo was living with till he was 40. He turned out he didn't come down with Huntington's Korea, but there was a 50% chance that when he hit 40, he would have it. So that meant that he could have 40 years of life, and he could have... He had he 40 years of life with this sort of Damocles over his head. Well, you know, a lot of people have sort of Damocles over their head, but it's still... Oh, you like who? Like years who? Of like, life. Oh, fuck you. Come on. You're not going to... You, know, you, 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 if you, if, you know, hey, saying you can, that the, it's not you can a child have, you can always have. Did. You can always have another kid, Phil. If you know the kid that you're going to have is going to be like a freak of nature, I think maybe the best thing to do would be to have an abortion. That would be the kind thing to do. You think so? Yeah. Uh, but but don't don't you think maybe though that like that the larger overall point though is, you know, like Phil talking a, a few minutes ago about, you know, the, the basically I if I understood it correctly, you know, his wife, his first wife, and he basically you know lost a child that they were you know planning on having, and yeah, something happened, and the outcome was uncertain, you know, et cetera. I think the larger point though is, it was probably you know pretty traumatic for you. I mean, there's nothing wrong with admitting that and a time of worry and a, you know, I mean, terribly stressful and on and on and on. And I think what a lot of people who like Charlie and them are saying is, but what if the outcome of that had been preordained for you or told you what you have to do in that situation by a government body, which you typically don't stand for? I mean, what if there was some 
sort of law where your doctor said, well, the, this is this I have to do this because the government has said I must, you know, has, birth has anybody this ever... child or I must do this, this, and I'm just saying it, it, it would not be between you and your wife and a doctor, you know, well, what I don't think the government should, should say that. Now. But, you know, the, the thing is, has have you ever known anyone that had a mongoloid child? Most of them don't live past 30. Uh, they have a, you know, it's it's a tough, tough road to go through life. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know what they call mongoloidism, but, uh, you know, but it's tough. And, you know, it doesn't. But. Do they deserve that quality of life? Down Most syndrome. People, down syndrome. Down Most syndrome. people no, no, say uh, p- no. That the pin, pinheads are not. Uh, pinheads are not. Uh, no, no. But most <laughs> look people at say me. That down look syndrome at I think babies, that's the politically uh, correct term is pinhead. Uh, all right. But you know, I, I see these these uh, parents uh, that have Down syndrome babies, and down, many si- of them, down syndrome you know, is different. Down syndrome is different. Uh, than a mongoloid. Yeah. Well, uh, I I thought it was the same thing, but let's say Down syndrome. That's what I was talking about. Mm-hmm. And you know, most of them die in their thirties uh, or even before. And uh, so, but are they? Should they? But have you see, you don't know. You don't. Live? Wait a minute. I don't think you know that a kid's going to have Down syndrome until it's born, and you don't know it till oh, after you, it's you, starting to grow up. And, it's in the chromosomes. Yeah. Yeah. They have an, an extra, extra chromosome. chromosome or extra X chromosome. Or something so they like can that. see that. No, they, they, they can't. They, they, they can't. The ambiotic fluid. Yeah. I guess what I'm saying, though, is even if you and I believe that incredibly strongly, that that is a life worth living, it, you and I aren't having the baby. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's well, two yeah. other people. We're not yeah. raising. We're not paying for it. We're not. We're not, ha- with we're not having to live with a lifetime. With you. If my wife and I were going to have a child and they said it's going to have Down syndrome, I mean, I think that would be a little devastating in a way, but it would not. I, would, I wouldn't choose to go down that path. But far be it for me to go tell my neighbor to go down. I mean, you know, I, mean, yeah. I guess is my and, point. And does the kid deserve the ability to, to have those 30 years? You know, at before, least with the Huntington's uh, before, Korea, before, they get 40. Before or after they were born? Before, you know, before I, I mean, I'm it, sorry, you know, sorry. Before they are not a human being yet. Well, you think that? No, you know, I don't we, think we that. To, I know we that did because the same thing. scientifically, they are not a human and, being. If they cannot exist outside of the womb on their own, they are not a human being. We did Is an acorn an oak tree. Yes, an acorn yes. an oak tree. Very good. Oh yeah, no. yeah. I, I want to see you build a deck with acorns in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go to Home Depot and buy one. Yeah, I want one of those. I want one of those uh, acorn uh, coffee tables. Yeah, I'm just saying that having the outcome for you preordained is just as much a violation of your pursuit of happiness and liberties as it is, you know, another's. I mean, uh, it's just. Your wife and you are going to have a baby, and I don't know when they can tell you about Down syndrome. I, I thought it was pretty early on. I think you it know is. when abortions are completely safe and completely legal, and you have that you know decision to make, or maybe it's some other disease or you know genetic issue or whatnot. I mean, you have just I mean that that's a life changer or a life ruiner. Some people would say that you know I you mean know. if you think it's cruel, fine, but some people say wow you know having a kid like that is going to Crip my style, and what, I don't want when that. I, I, was mean, 19, I find that ridiculous, but yeah. some people believe in that. That's those happiness. Are the, those are the cards you get dealt. Yeah, when I was 19, uh, I had my girlfriend get pregnant. And she, in those days, if you wanted an abortion, you had to go find some guy with a coat hanger. Yeah. I mean, that was it. It was uh, people, women were dying like crazy rather than yep. have children. And that's why when they finally made abortion legal, I felt it was it was a wonderful thing because at least we were going to save lives as a result of that. Uh, my girlfriend, uh, we 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 thought about abortion, uh, but uh, that that was that was a scary prospect. And we she, we she wasn't wealthy enough, and neither was I, that we knew a doctor who would do it and call it a DNC. Okay, some doctors would do it, but they'd call it something else, and they would, it would go under the radar. Uh, so she finally, uh, she finally gave birth to the child and um, uh, gave it up for adoption. Uh, so 
you know, I, uh, I don't think even in that case I would have gone for an abortion, but I sure would have liked to have been able to adopt the child myself. I think I had the right. I wish, but even then I didn't have the right to do that because the laws were different. Yeah, um, think sure you enough. Now. Huh? Today I, I today, now. today I could make a case for the fact you don't want the child, I do. Okay? And I think I could go to court and say I'm the father of the child. She doesn't want it. She wants to give it up for adoption. I want to raise the child myself, and any court today would probably say go ahead, it's your baby to, you know, to raise. Uh, but I went through all of that, and I went through all the possibilities of abortion at a time when it was a dangerous, dangerous thing to even think of. And uh, unless you were rich, and then you had a family doctor who knew, call it a DNC, and you know. Or you could fly to Europe and get an abortion. You could do that too, yeah. But if you're, if you're a poor woman in this country, what are you going to do? You know, you don't want to have to be strapped with a child that you're going to have to raise. And God knows all the people who are, pro, uh, are, are against abortion aren't going to sit there with their hands out saying, here's some money, take care of the kid. You know, all they want you to do is have the kid. They don't have any way you're going to take care of that kid. Well, yeah. you can put the kid up for adoption. And there are plenty of people that want to take care of the kid. Maybe, 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 Phil. You know, well, yeah. you, you, what, what, you, you're you know. assuming that you have That's a, nice a whole other psychological kid. thing, too. Yeah. To get rid I mean, of a kid. Yeah. A lot of black kids, a lot of black babies are not being adopted. Yeah. A lot of mixed race babies are not being adopt, adopted. I I was under the impression that there are so few babies no, available. No, that's the wrong. Parents Phil. are desperate. No, there's so them. few white babies available, white Phil. Babies, yeah. Yeah, they have to go to Russia. Black children are they're going begging for homes. That's why they're always thrown into foster care and other places like that. It's because they don't have any place to put them because they don't get adopted. It's like an, you know, it's like uh, you know, it's terrible. It's just horrible. Anyway, you you had a topic. You said, Charlene. Let's hear what you got to throw in here. Okay. You know, hopefully I've got the right information now. That's why I was so excited. Now, um, you didn't bring this up already. There's a governor in West Virginia. I don't get. I don't oh, know his yeah. name. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But, no, uh, Virginia, old, not West Virginia. His old yearbook, um, but it was from 1984. They said not 64, so that's what makes the difference. Um, in, in 1984, he was at a party or something in college, and he was either a Ku Klux Klansman or he was in blackface. He won't say which one. And um, they think now that he should step down a lot of people because uh, he's a racist, because he had a picture like that, which reminded me of the Supreme Court justice, the, the beer guy. What's his name? Uh, Kavanaugh. 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 Uh, but, but well, is, is it the same or is it not? No. Because yeah. what they said was if it was 1964, he could get away with it. No. But because it was 1984, he should have known better. That's there, 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 there are plenty of other uh, politicians that were members of the Ku Klux Klan. There was uh, one, one guy from North Carolina. Strom Thurmond. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, the, but uh, what happened with this guy, I mean, it was a college picture. Uh, you know, is he says he's not a racist. He's a Democrat, so he could be. But the thing is, uh, you know, what, we're doing this thing where in, in 25 years ago uh, the guy was graduating college and they and they had a, had a joke and now he's being held to account it's nice it was Phil it's nice that, it's nice that Phil is standing up for a Democrat go ahead now, now uh, there was a Republican that uh, <laughs> made some racist statements recently hmm. and he uh, was forced to uh, he was thrown off the committees that he was on. Uh, because of those uh, racist statements, Steve and, King, yeah, uh, yeah, Steve King, yes, and uh, so I, now it, did they say you can't be a congressman anymore? No, they they did sanction him, and they and they and they did some things, and it was more recent. I mean, they, these were recent things, and and look, they took him uh, off look, those I committees. Think, I think they should should, be- should a duly elected governor be uh, you know forced to uh, to step down? Because of something that was done. In well, thank a you, Phil. In a thank college. you, Phil, for that uh, impassioned plea. But my answer to you is, no, he shouldn't be made to step down. And that's my that's my. No, uh, I, I think one. that whatever he did back then, if they didn't find it out when he was running for office and he got elected for uh, governor, then you let him s- serve out his term, and then you go for re-election, and you can bring this whole shit up and let people vote based on that. 
you know. And he says he's not a racist. Well, I don't care yeah. what he says. But, you know, so does Trump, but uh, Trump is. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, but the point the point I'm making is is that it's it's uh, terrible. Um, I I think that we we're doing too many things retroactively. Uh, and I think if it happened last week, yeah, if he showed up somewhere in a Ku Klux Klan outfit or blackface like, or whatever. Like the, like the Stephen King thing. What's Stephen King thing? Uh, yeah. What's his name, King? The, uh, Steve King from Iowa, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. the uh, oh, Congress, the Republican the, congressman that made some... <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, these are all recent things. I, I just think a lot of this stuff that's happening... Uh, in retrospect, and is happening uh, after the well, it's fact. Twenty for twenty-five years. Yeah, uh, I, you know, and plus, whatever happened to us saying, "Oh, that's Warped. the folly of youth," you know, that's yeah. the stupidity of youth. The kids, people who are young, act in stupid ways. Uh, I don't think any of people on this panel want to be held accountable well, for is, stuff they did when they were kids. You know, who was the royal yeah. that wore a Nazi uh, uniform uh, to Prince, a Prince Halloween Prince Harry, party? Prince Harry. Uh, Prince Harry. Yes, Jeff. Oh, your mic's. Uh, you need to turn turn your mic on. Yeah, your if, mic. You know, uh, they didn't the sanction anyway. Prince okay, Harry. Uh, yeah. Yes, they did. Uh, yes, Jeff. Um. Still well, nothing really happened to the king, right? I mean, uh, no, nothing happened to Prince Harry, but they did right. vilify him and yell and scream about it, and uh, he right. had to apologize and all of that. But it's not like you can say, well, then you're not allowed <clears throat> to be a prince anymore. You know, no, I'm sorry, that's royal lineage, and you can't do anything about it. You know, everybody's frozen all of a sudden. Uh, oh. No. Oh, they're yeah. Okay. Lives. They're back again. Yeah. They're back again. There was a yeah. there was a freeze up there. Well, you know, yeah, they can make people step down. Look at uh, somebody Wallace. Uh, the, uh, no, he, the there's king. nothing. There's nothing for Harry to step down from. He is just simply a prince of royal lineage. Yeah. Who lives but with that has privilege? Duties and, no, and, well, and charities. All, all and right. Things. So you take him and you don't have him run his charities anymore. Then who, who's the loser but, there? Right, but they didn't do anything like that. And, no. you know, so he apologized and they moved on. And Phil, I think that's Phil, what these other people you know, should do. I agree with you. Oh, where, he did apologize. He, uh, he did. The, the governor. Yeah. yeah. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I apologize. saw the speech, yeah. 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 What did you think about his his uh, demeanor for his Me? speech? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess he looked like he was sorry. But, you know, I think... Um, you know, they, they were making a point that they thought um, if it was in 64, but I thought what you thought, Alex, right away. Mm -hmm. Like, why hold this? Like, it was a, a youthful thing he did. Why, somebody dug this out because uh, everyone's running for president now and everything, right? You well, know, like, it, it's, maybe, we're going, back, not, we're going but, back and we're getting too much of this stuff retroactively. You know, right. I it's mean, th far. there's a time it's when ridiculous. there was a time time in this country where certain behavior was not considered objectionable, even though it should have been. That's our that's our bad. But you can't suddenly say, oh, well, you did that back then 20 years ago, because what it reminds me of is what happened to people during the 50s when they yeah. said I, you were a communist back in the 30s, weren't you? Right. Yes. Well, then you can't work anymore. Wait a minute. I didn't. But I, I found I didn't become it's a witch hunt. I didn't stay a, witch hunt. a communist and whatever. Mm -hmm. And that I think there should be a cutoff date for behavior crimes. Yes, it's not right today to pat a woman on the ass at work. Okay, I no, don't. I, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. May I finish? No, yeah. oh, you, uh, you always okay. got to bring up something. You know, I never can well, finish a statement. Well, Cory Booker. I, uh, I don't give a shit, I, Phil. I, I, You're not letting me finish Jeff my thought. Jeff okay. And now I can't like remember crazy. what it was. So go ahead. What was so and fucking important, Phil? Uh, well, Cory Booker declared today that he was running for president. <laughs> And Cory Booker has a, uh, a thing that happened in his past where he was supposedly uh, did something to a, a woman. Mm. I forgot what it Thank was. Thank you for that whataboutism, Phil. That really stopped, no, well, it brought, this whole, to brought this whole thing to a, a screaming, screeching mm -hmm. halt. All right. You know. you know, Alex, Jeff wanted to say stuff there. Look, yeah. he's got his yeah. hand yeah, up. Yeah, Jeff. Jeff. The one thing I think about the governor... I think if the people who are now live in that state, and if they're so pissed off about the governor, 
they can they can revote him, right? And kick him out. Yeah. Or say just wait you know for what? wait for the you next vote. election. Wait for the next election. And if you don't like what you saw, you don't vote for him. Well, I know. That's wait till the end. Yeah. But could they also have a discussion immediately? Listen. Well, recall like happened to Gray Davis you're talking sure. about? I, some states don't have that. You some can't states do that in Texas. Yeah, some states don't have recall. Okay, so in certain states it might be illegal. The others it might be illegal. So, but I, I'm, I, I don't object if the people feel that the governor is just. I mean, it's like Trump. Yeah. I think a lot of people who voted for Trump really yeah. think that they made a mistake. Well, that's why I'm not for impeachment. You know, uh, I think that, uh, that uh, you know, uh, fuck you if you've got buyer's remorse. You know, uh, that's not the way we handle things. I don't want to feel that everybody who gets into the presidency, suddenly the next thing happening the next day is people are trying to impeach them. Uh, I, I don't think a president should have to spend his whole time warding off impeachment. But I think if he did commit some crimes, I think they should come to light and we should have special <clears throat> prosecutors and things like that. And then if they did do something, then we have to judge whether what they did was an impeachable offense. But, uh, you know, from the day that Bill Clinton got into office, they were out to, to, to get him out of, uh, you know, to get him. Uh, and, uh, you know, whether it was Whitewater or whether it was a po mm. po Postal Gate or whether it was this thing or that thing, you know, and uh, to, to Clinton's credit, it didn't slow him down. But, you know, nevertheless, uh, a, a, a not as good a, a man would have had a harder time keeping, keeping going in, in that kind of onslaught that he faced. And no, no person should have to. Yes, Charlene. You know, uh, you know he's going to try that emergency thing with the wall thing. Now, what if he does that and gets away with it and everybody's tired of him? And what would be like an alternative? Because I don't believe in impeachment either because... But if, if he calls a national, that, if he calls a national emergency for this national thing, emergency, right? Uh, what do we uh, do? He, if he does he, that? He, the Republicans in Congress will be completely against him because right. they, they, they everybody considers this unnecessary. Yep. You know that it's not a national emergency. It's not what we call a national emergency, and it'll put us into debt too, right? I mean, oh. we don't need that. We don't need to spend money on it, and. We'll, we'll go into debt for this, right? Well, here, think of this for a second. It's just more into T debt. Today, he said, well, the wall is almost finished. And and that's it. Uh, they, uh, they did some checking, and it's an absolute lie. Under nobody's definition, has anything been built on the border during this whole thing? And if it's almost finished, then why did he close down the government for a month? Right, to we get keep a wall, saying right? we've got more contracts going. We keep putting up more of the wall. It's going up today. We're putting up more tomorrow. He keeps saying all this stuff, yet he's still asking for the wall. Yeah. It the makes only thing no is, sense. He's talking about the, the sides it, of his mouth. Yeah, he's doing it Trump fashion, though, the way Trump built things here in New York. You can put your fist through it. Uh, yeah, that you can kind put of, your fist through it, but it's brand new, but it looks great. And it's new design. It's all great, but it's yeah, not there, but it's there, yeah, but it's in there. It's, it's going yeah. up, but it's not there yet, but it's going up, and I need some. He's talking all over the place. Here comes Tim. Tim's joining us. Hello, Tim. Are you there, Are you there Tim? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, you want a piece of this action? Well, I just were talking about Trump today, and he, he talked about having all these accounts, and it was already appropriated. You know, you, that was a picture in the a window in the how he ran Trump organization, and they would just what well, they ran out of money, they just would pay it out of the charity foundation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, almost a, definitely a mob boss type attitude. Well, we have a mob boss as a president, essentially. Right. It's just, but it was, it's, it's just he's being so blatant about it. He's just blatant about it. I mean, we we voted in a gang of gangsters is really what we did. No, based on how many lies he told today, okay? Lie after keep lie. track of them. We're, what's happening but, to Phil? Uh, Phil has completely uh, uh, cut, cut himself out of this discussion now. Uh, he's but the, you know what the biggest lie today was? What? The jobs numbers. 
Oh, I'm right, sure right. they fudged them. I'm sure they're fudged because they can't bring any put anything on his desk that's <laughs> negative. <laughs> Look at that. And I used to. I used to do numbers for the Social Security Administration, and I know how easy easy it is to change your definitions, to change your database just slightly, and come up with the numbers you want. It's extremely easy. You could do with a high school math education. Yeah, but I don't think he has any control over those numbers, uh, Tim. Oh, yes, he does. They, the White House has monitors inside each agency keeping track of what it's like the SS. Inside each agency, and I've t- I've tweeted the news article several times of how many, that they report back and they get rid of people and demote people. Uh, that's why he didn't have he got rid of a bunch of scientists. He got people doing, and they know if they they got somebody telling everybody in the agency how to do things according to the White House yeah. rules. Phil, what are you doing there? Uh, huh? Uh, I'm I'm not. Uh... I'm not bugging anybody. I uh, I just turned down my audio and uh, I was listening and uh, I was looking to see if a thing I put on eBay sold. <laughs> <laughs> and it hasn't. What did you put on eBay? Uh, a um, a dive computer that uh, uh, is very very nice, but I I can't. It's the it's too small. I can't see any of the numbers on it when I'm diving. So I bought a I bought a big one and. Uh, this one, this one looks like a Rolex watch, but it's really small. Wow! So I can't, I can't see the air. I can't see anything. So why did you uh, decide to suddenly beg out of this discussion? Uh, I was just going to give other people a chance to say something. Oh, you okay. know, uh, you, you seem to be getting upset with me uh, that uh, uh, you know I, I kept interrupting and, and and saying shit. So I figured, all right, uh, let other people talk, and I'll, I'll sit back and. And relax. In other words, you call it. I'm taking up a space. You're moping. Hey, hey, no, hey, no, 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 I'm not moping. Hey, hey, uh, hey, Alex. Yeah. He's doing his his he's doing his Mike Pence impre- impersonation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, it doesn't doesn't Mike Pence look like a lap dog? I mean, he he. I I think if, if Trump went on an airplane, he could actually take him on as a uh, as a as a pet. I mean, you know, was, he's related to he's related to Charlie McCarthy. You know, who? Pence, <laughs> Mike Pence. Oh, really? The, the biggest lap yeah, dog was Joe Biden. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, yes, Charlene. Did you guys talk about uh, what happened? And I'm gonna I want to call him Oliver Stone, but Roger Stone. Roger Stone. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the judge uh, is sanctioning him like or something? Because he's gloating too much and he's enjoying I, the limelight. Well, I think that it's wrong of the judge to make that kind of determination. I think that Roger Stone should be allowed to do anything he wants to do uh, because he is being thrust into the limelight. I mean, he even said it himself. He said, look, when people say things about me, I should have the right to be able to counter Perfect. that rather than let them stand as a, a, a you know and when i don't answer something because i'm under a gag rule people get the idea i'm not answering because i'm guilty uh so and, under and, a gag and, and, and i and i i think it's wrong of a judge to tell him he can do anything he wants to but it might screw up his case but that's up to him yeah you know exactly he's gonna should blow he, it should, sooner he, later. Should, should he be allowed to use the court system as his own pr tool I don't think he's doing that. It's like a I don't think no, I don't think he's doing that. I think that he uses everything in his life as a PR tool. That this is a great moment for Roger Stone, who's lived his whole life wanting to be considered infamous. Yes. You know, and he, he's and, got a YouTube video. He's got a YouTube video show, describing how instructions on how to dress for a district court hill. Oh, I saw how he was yeah, but, but he, uh, 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 Roger, and he probably got a million views. Roger Stone was considered a, a co-conspirator in Watergate, but an unindicted co-conspirator. He's and, proud of that, and yeah. he's very, he was very proud of that at the time. He said that that was a badge of of, of something of you know of of coming into my own. Uh, he was doing the V's like Nixon, the V's yeah. for victory. There's, yeah. there's something about Roger Stone I find very interesting, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was supposed to see him at the Commonwealth Club, well, we don't but care they canceled he, it. 
What does that have to do with the discussion here? You're just saying, hey, I almost I almost got to see Roger Stone. Well, I paid for the ticket. Boy, is that... And he's for Giuliani or somebody. Yeah, right? I, yeah. I, yeah, I almost saw Roger Stone. Well, you know, I was walking down... I was down, disappointed. I was walking down Fifth Avenue, and I almost bumped into Donald Trump. But he was <laughs> down in Washington instead of at Trump Tower, so... <laughs> But, but but he's the one that got uh, Trump elected more than anybody. He's been with him for thirty five, forty years. Well, he's the one. He's he came up he, with the wall and a whole bunch of other memes that he, Trump used, and then he encouraged treasonous activity from our from our adversaries. That that's unconscionable. Well, you know, I mean, uh, Roger Stone. You know, you know what you're getting with Roger Stone. It's never been a big secret. Okay. And I think no. Roger Stone right now is, I think, the victim of his own hubris because he went around saying, ah, oh, well, I, I got a whole of WikiLeaks and I was talking with Wiki, and he wasn't. But, you know, he was he was saying that so much that because he was braggadocio that it wound up getting him nailed. Yes, Charlene? I don't know if this is good or bad, but in my head, all of a sudden I said, oh, he's kind of like the Phil Spector of politics, you know? <laughs> What 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 if it turns out later on that, you know, that whole thing with Phil Spector and the woman with the gun and did he really shoot her or did she commit suicide? Well, Maybe I'll later you, on, I'll something tell you, will happen I've, like that. I, I find him. Roger Stone interesting, and I define defy anybody to say that he isn't. The guy that isn't interesting and is pure evil, in my opinion, was his former partner Paul Manafort. You know, uh, Manafort is just a piece of shit. And these are all trying the, to keep up with the Joneses. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, if their name was Russian, uh, yes, Jeff. I, I was very impressed with Stone uh, today mm -hmm. because he goes outside on the street wearing his suit. Yep. No jacket. It's ten degrees. <laughs> Everybody else has got jackets and hats. I didn't notice that, but you're right. He comes out shaking his hands, and having a great time. And he that's a sign of mental illness. It's called he's flat effect. Crazy. It's he's a, crazy. That's a sign of mental illness. It is absolutely. He, he's impressed by himself. Well, also he's like uh, he's in thick with Jones. What's his name? Uh, Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Why can't I yeah. remember Alex Jones's first name? Uh, he, he, <laughs> he, he in thick uh, with Al, uh, Alex Jones, and he, you know Alex Jones reports on him all the time, and he's there right next to him during everything and recording everything and doing interviews with him. And yet Alex Jones doesn't have a platform any longer because it's been ripped out from under him by uh, by Facebook and by YouTube. Um, so uh, liberal censorship. No. No, they felt he was violating their own, you know. I, yeah. I, well, you know, when it happened, uh, if you remember, I defended his right to be on those those platforms. You know, they have he, a lot of stuff on those platforms that are that are uh, terrible stuff, you know, and uh, Nazi types and. Uh, I'll tell you, YouTube's okay. <laughs> Facebook, I really worry about. Okay, I like YouTube. I mean, I found my my experience with YouTube has been very good. Uh, uh, they are not Machiavellian about everything or saying where well, you can't do this and you can do that. Facebook, on the other hand, is just, I don't know, there's something very wrong about them. Let me bring What's up... What's going on? Let me bring up... On between thing. Apple and Facebook, that Apple closed down Facebook uh, programs because they were uh, doing something with the information of uh, underage people. They were trying to get information, yeah. 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 All that Facebook does for a living is get data. But what okay. Apple did, I thought, was punitive because they they turned off certain applications that Facebook used internally to communicate with their employees. So? Well, uh, isn't that a little punitive? I mean... What do you mean? Uh, it's, their, it's their fucking company. They can do anything yeah, they I've, goddamn please. <clears throat> Where's your sense of being a Republican, Phil? Jeez. Well... You know, all of a sudden you're defending... It's a free market. I just thought it was... Uh, uh, it's a free market? No, it's not a free market. Um, um, I want to ask you one other question. This is, uh, this is just really sensitive. There's this kid, Smollett, I think is his name, who is the... Yeah, is, is Smollett. Oh, Alex, this is I want to bring that up. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, uh, who, yep. who got uh, beaten up in Chicago. 
My and, was beaten up. Uh, well, wait a minute. Let me finish, Phil, the please. Witnesses. He was please. beaten up, Phil. No. Uh, well, there not, is, there, I, I still, uh, in everything that I've seen, I still question. Uh, uh, I, I think at this point I'd like to see some real proof that something even went on. He's Just got broken ribs. But, no, Just he didn't have broken smallette. ribs. Didn't have broken ribs. Nope. He had a scratch yeah. on his face. That was the extent of it. Why was he wearing and, a noose? And he came Why back. Why was he wearing a noose when he went home? And he wore a noose around his neck. Well, here, you know, to begin with, I'd <laughs> like to off. believe. I part of me wants to believe that it's true and that he's telling a true story. Then again, there's part of me that doesn't want to because it's a horrible story, and I and we shouldn't have this kind of thing happen in America. But Smollett is a gay black activist. And my question is, is there the possibility that he kind of created this situation in order to get the publicity to, the publicity. to get political, little political juice out of it? That, that's right. my question. Now, I'm not saying he did, but I'm saying there's a motive there for him to do that. Let me ask Charles. Charles knows about Smollett, right? Yeah, but I'm just saying, you know, anything's possible, but, you know, I really doubt what that. I read was that there are witnesses to back up. No, there were no witnesses. They're, they they don't have a security camera because he darted right. off of off of where a security camera could see what was going on. Mm -hmm. He then supposedly, while he was getting beaten up, called his manager, who then verified what was what had been happening. But outside of that, they can't find these people. They can't see any security camera footage of these people. They've got two uh, blurry pictures and those two are, blurry figures. And they don't think those are the people. They think they are right. people who Right, and then they tried them. to subpoena some uh, uh, phone records, and they won't, they won't turn those over. Yeah. Who's Bigfoot? So I mean, there, so there are a lot of got a lot of questions to it. Yeah, and what I'm what really bothers me is if it turns out that he's not telling the truth of what happened or i'm just saying what if right. that were to happen how it would discredit you know the, the the some of these movements that have a right to their claims of problems and 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 to other people who would have the same thing happen to them uh i but right now at this point there is no proof positive that this event took place yeah, I, I hope in a bad way. You hope it happens. You hope it because, happens. Yeah, yeah, because it's it's a black eye, with, for lack of a better word, it's a black eye for, you know, for that not to be true. Yeah, exactly. Why would you be questioning like whether it happened or not? Be there's a lot of things that went on because like that. there's a it's, <clears throat> because there's a lot of it's really suspicious, and it, the trouble huh. is there are too many people out there willing to believe him because it's a racial or it's claimed to be a racial incident, but yet. There's no proof positive that this ever took place. That's you, you know problem. what I think it is? What? I, oh. I, think it, I think it happened, but I think it's exaggerated. I think that you'll find that's going to be the that, answer. That could be a very good, that could be a good, you might have a good point there, Tim. Charlene. And, and I think that, that's kind of okay. Charlene? No, I, I, I heard that like a liquid was thrown on him or something, too. Bleach. Right? Bleach. bleach. They said bleach. bleach. Yeah. No, but then they said a liquid later. They, they change it from bleach. What I saw later, I heard bleach, but then when I looked, it said just a liquid. And so supposedly, go, supposedly his, uh, his uh, manager who heard him on the phone, heard them yell at him, this is what happens when you come to MAGA country. Oh, yeah. that's what I heard, too. Yep. I heard that part. Now, and I thought of Phil, no offense, Phil. No, but wait a minute. No, but wait a minute. No, but I, 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 that's kind of suspicious to me, too. That's suspicious, yeah. You know, I don't. That was supposedly wow. heard over the phone by his and manager. They can't bring up the phone records of that time. Uh, they won't. They won't give them the phone recordings of the right. uh, of that particular call. Is there a recording? Yeah, I think there is. I think that you can you can retrieve most phone calls. You know, I, in in today's world, uh, people are, are accusing people left and right. Some of it true, some of it not true. It makes me think of the Kavanaugh hearing where no, uh, several no, of those women have already do. recounted. It has, no, it has nothing to do no, with no, no, the Kavanaugh it, but, uh, hearing. We shouldn't even bring that up. 
Phil, Phil, you, Phil, it has nothing to do with the Kavanaugh hearing. In this particular case, we're talking about did this really happen? We're talking about accusations. Or are we? He's not accusing anybody. He's saying something happened to him. Well, so did the several women that oh, accused. Oh, gee, Phil, Kavanaugh. just, just. <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 I'll go back to playing this. with yeah. the yeah. yeah, how's your how's your how's your breathalyzer or whatever it is doing on eBay? Uh, uh, not as good as I hoped. <laughs> I'll tell you, I swear by eBay, man. Uh, that uh, thing I got through eBay is working just fine. I'm gonna and get one. Knock on wood. You're gonna get one, Alex. What are you buying I think I now? Am, yeah. You were talking about it last night. Hmm? It's that thing that I don't know. I forget what you guys were talking about. Drobo? Is it a Drobo? Oh, thing? no, he's got the Drobo. I know, it's a Phil is a Drobo. Yeah. You've got a different Drobo, thing. Drobo sounds like he owns a clown. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> Drobo the clown. <laughs> uh, He'll do parties. Yeah. Uh, but it, it uh, uh, no, the machine is terrific. You know, I mean, it hasn't, let me put it this way, it hasn't burned out. But what they wanted was, I for 400 bucks, I could get a, a, a warranty on it. If I do it within 30 days for three years, but if it goes on something used, but no, but used? yeah, but if it goes bad, I've got to mail it back to California. So it'll oh, cost a You know, if, if it was a warranty where I could get it fixed locally, I would do the warranty. You You'd know? think that they'd have a local uh, outlet to uh, to to fix those things. Why would they want you to send it and send it back and? Uh, do all of those things. Yeah. They got to fix it. There's there's repair places all over the country. Now I know, but apparently they want to be able to repair it. See, yeah. so this this is what I'm trying to sell. Uh, it's a, a wireless transmitter and a uh, and a uh, watch that's a. Dive I've got. I got an idea. I think I'm going to stop things. doing Gabnet. I'm going to start doing like uh, uh, the swap shop. Home shopping uh, uh, network. Yeah, no, the swap shop where you got yeah, something to yeah. sell, Phil. What are you willing yeah. to swap for it? <laughs> Hold up uh, an article. Uh, <laughs> you know, somebody with good teeth and can pull a plow. Yeah. I got four chickens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but you know, uh, don't you remember it, on radio they used to have the swap shop? Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. See, this, this they just, still do. Just the the watch part was sixteen hundred bucks, and uh, the titanium band was another four hundred. And I'm asking seven twenty five, and some guy lowballed me and gave me a four hundred dollar offer. I said, "You can't buy the band for that." Is this you a know? dive watch, Phil? Yeah, yeah. But if yeah. you can't oh, okay. get rid of it, Phil, you might take the four hundred dollars. Did you get a new one? Yeah, a uh, uh, bigger, uh, bigger screen. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, for the yeah. visually impaired. Yeah, definitely the visually <laughs> impaired. <laughs> well, my eyesight's gotten worse in the last couple of months. So yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in the club. Yeah. When are you having the waiting room, the medical waiting room? Because I have a big thing going on with that. With what? They found cataract, oh. and um, I'm trying to get the lenses. You know how you have to pay for the lenses out yeah. of pocket? And my uh, ophthalmologist thinks I'm crazy. Why, why do you have to pay for the lenses out of pocket? It should be taken well, care this is of. What I, oh, the upgraded lenses. Huh? Yeah, the upgraded lenses you have to pay for out of pocket. What, what are you what? getting, blue ones? Well, you know, I can't, I hate glasses, and I can't wear contacts anymore because my eyes are dry. So she told me she saw I have to start a cataract. But I, you have to let them ripen to, before Medicare will pay for it, right? Right. Well, they, they, so, they say they let them get ripe. I've had both, <clears throat> both my eyes have been Ugh. done. It's not cataracts. It's uh, what is what am I thinking? Yeah, it's cataracts. Is it cataracts that uh, yeah. they? Yeah, they, they, that's they, what I had. That's it. the surgery I had. They put yeah. it. They Charlene, put, they put what, it what are you in, worried about Medicare? Uh, how old are you? I know oh, this. Oh God, woman, I've already but, been outed, so I don't have much longer, like uh, another four years, and I'll be able. To, and I, I'm going to be so happy. I can get 90 day, you know, refills <laughs> and all that. Yeah. Because uh, no, that's my medical. Because you know, I, I, I really need medical now. Yeah. Oh my God! It's all downhill now. You know, I have the same teeth thing going on, it, Alex. It's it worse. And I've, I know, and I've got the <laughs> the same thing you have, but they gave me diflofenac or something, and it's for arthritis. Now they're telling me they're giving me drugs for arthritis. I have to be diagnosed first, though, to know. I think I might have arthritis. I got, I got arthritis right here. I'm, you know. Yeah, me too. You too. It's I've had arthritis for 25 years. Then they go and they give you a shot. Which Welcome take to the care arthritis club. I've had arthritis since I was like 30. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. You, you know, I have arthritis too, but what's helping me is the, is the raw thing. 
Uh, I feel 10 years younger. Oh, God, if I have spurs in my Yeah, but Phil, problem, I got news for you. You don't look 10 <laughs> years younger. I just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> well, thank you very much. No, they told me I have spurs that are coming through my spine, going into my throat. What the hell is they that? They told me I got spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. Right. Bone spurs. <laughs> oh, if I make jokes about spurs that jingle, jangle, some of these doctors are going to get I got balls that jingle, jingle, jingle. <laughs> My doctors do not appreciate my humor at all. If I go in and try to be funny, they get really mad. <laughs> yeah. I told one guy, I'm a hypochondriac. I was referring to you. Like, you know how, Alex, you say you're a hypochondriac? Yeah. Oh, my God, he went crazy on me, and he started getting really mad. Charlene, <laughs> is there a pattern here? First of all, you're, the dentist you went to didn't like it because you they talked too to much. They tried to kill me. Right. Yeah, they tried they to cut kill your me. tongue off. They tried to <laughs> kill you. Yeah, they, they, they cut her tongue off when yeah. they tried to. Yeah. Really? Oh, you tell me, if I don't lose three pounds by the next visit, I'm really in for it. <laughs> three pounds? Well, yes. Three? I, I'm like, I'm, I like I'm on 600. <laughs> I got to lose that, that left out in the arm. Let's not <laughs> be, wait a minute, hold anything on, anything gang. Let's it. not be insulting towards Charlene. She knows she has to lose some weight. So three no, pounds I mean, is three, three pounds. pounds. No, I'm okay. morbidly obese. They've diagnosed me, but it's not going to happen. I know when I go there, I'm not going to be three pounds lighter. So he's going to go crazy. <laughs> My BMI is 35. Oh, I don't know about that BMI thing. I'm morbidly obese. My ass cap, that's, that's my ass cap is 3.4. But anyway, it's a music joke. Uh, yeah. um, he, he just, I don't know what his thing is, but like, he, he you know, he showed me, I had the trigger finger mm -hmm. and I had the surgery. So he showed me, too. he never did su surgery and his finger still, but I said, he's got a medical degree and he's got a lot more, you know, I mean, I, cause I, I try to get him to sign something that I couldn't work with my bad hand. Oh, God, he went crazy. He wouldn't sign it. I just wanted to lose so much weight that people would look at me and go, have you seen Alex lately? Has he got cancer? You know. <laughs> right, right. And, and, he does. And, 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 well, yeah. I may. I don't know if I have it, Phil. You have a touch of the yeah. cancer. He, 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 outside of PSAs, he has not been able to find a sign of anything. And Are he going to do a, uh, a biopsy? Only if necessary. You know, he does. Don't, he's, you, don't he, you want one? No. He's not worried oh. about it. I got it. You know, he's not answer. he's not worried about it. He says that you know, at your age, you, you there's a good chance you've got prostate cancer, but a very ah, slow great. one. No, a <laughs> it very, takes forever though. No, a, yeah, yeah, it takes forever. He says, yeah, and I give you hormones. Good. He said I can keep you alive till you're 95. And I said I and I looked at him and I said I was planning on living to be a hundred. You know, so, <laughs> uh, but uh, no, at my it's age, at my age, it's not. That's not going to be the thing that's going to get me. What I have now is I get cramps in my hands a lot. You know, so I have to have that too. Hmm? Arthritis, right? Well, no, it's not <laughs> My arthritis. father used to say arthritis. No, it's like he gets like Bleh. arthritis. They start what, doing what this. What gets rid of the cramps? Is it magnesium? Uh, that, I supposedly, but I also find if I do this with my back, oh. it goes away. Yeah. There's something in my back that's causing it. You know. Well, uh, oh, I, nerve, I discovered right. something uh, through uh, that the, that Ray has also discovered, which is a roller, a nubby roller, and when yeah. I roll on that. I feel get one I feel of those. Great. Oh yeah, those yeah. are like those are like having your own chiropractor in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Well, anyway, there's the oh, theme. Oh no, the theme. Oh, the theme. All right. Here, that's the dreaded theme. Uh, the end of the year. Yeah, he's going to play it 20 minutes early. So, what do you know about Mackie mixers, Phil? Are they okay? Yeah, they are. Okay. I need a mixer. Should I get a Mackie? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'll have to I'll let you know. Uh, right, anyway, yeah. that's Thanks, it. Bud. That's it for this week. Uh, if I'm not here right. on Tuesday, it's because none of that equipment work that I tried to put in. But then, of course, I just reinstall what I took out. Anyway, but I'm sure it'll all work, and we'll have a great show on uh, on on Tuesday. Not like we did. This was a great show tonight, actually. Charles Wallace, thank you so much. Phil Meyer, thank you. Jeff Stein, of course, thank you. Charlene Martinez, always a pleasure. Kevin, what what is, oh, he's doing a little finger trick there. Uh, Josh Wheeler, great hearing from you. And, of course, uh, there's uh, the uh, is Ray Renati. And Tim, thank you, too. Tim's the, Tim's the guy with the picture of the phone. Everybody, I think it would be very nice if uh, you would wave goodbye to the audience out there. And they can all wave back, and I'll wave at you, too. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. 
There they go. Okay, how about that? That's our citizens panel. Uh, let me uh, close down the Skype lines here because Jack Bishop has to use them next for the intersection, which follows immediately over this same gabnet. We'll be back again on uh, on uh, Tuesday, right after uh, Damian Chaplin is here with the exchange. I'll be here at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, you know, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.